Hey audio storytellers, we just got done with a audio editing and sound design workshop and I wanted to do a quick video for everyone else to talk about a little thing we mentioned and that is the idea of a sound scavenger hunt. Now, what am I talking about? So for the sound scavenger hunt, you just take 15 minutes and go around your apartment, your house, your block and record as many different sounds as you can find. For 15 minutes. Now, what are you going to do with those sounds? Are you going to make an ambient audio installation piece to capture the vibes of your neighborhood? Yeah, you could. Are you going to use them in your podcast? Maybe. We've done episodes like that. But there's a more important point about developing as a creator and as a sound designer that the sound scavenger hunt will help you with. And here it is. In her writing how-to book, writing down the bones. Great author Natalie Goldberg says, read good books and when you write, good books will come out of you. And so what she's getting at is this idea that we need to keep feeding ourselves as creators, putting things into the stew pot which mysteriously assimilate and stir and melt together and then when it's time for us to cook our own stuff, then those good ingredients that we put in make our own recipes come out better in the end. And maybe another way of putting this is saying that the sound scavenger hunt is a way of us becoming students of the auditory environment, attentively studying the world around us, just as carrying a camera will help you be more attentive to your visual environment and for example, doing the picture a day for a month exercise is something a lot of photographers do to develop their awareness, or how carrying a notebook and writing down quotes is something that writers will do to help them improve the ingredients that are going in for them and becoming intentional students of their craft. The sound scavenger hunt is training you to be more aware of the sounds around you, whether it is the different voices of your friends and family members, different beeps that appliances make, or different traffic sounds or ambient sounds. All of these things are ways that we can be more attentive and continue to grow as we work on our sound design skills. So take a moment or even better, 10 or 15 minutes, and go out and record some sounds. And here's to creating more sound rich stories and to continuing to develop as sound designers. See you next time.